Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a robbery system inside of Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first of all, you want to download the model from the first link in the description down below. And once you've done that, go into Roblox Studio and click the toolbox here. And then inside my models, you should find Ashton Lua's robbery system. And then just close out of there, and we have it right here. I'll just move it out of the way and as you can see we have our model but before we test it we need to do some things to make sure it works so first of all inside of this folder we can get rid of thumbnail camera and animation because you're watching a tutorial and you don't need them and the readme script as well and each folder you just want to ungroup in each place that it's named so Replicate storage will go here, obviously, and then you just ungroup it and save the every other scripts. Just press Control U to ungroup, ungroup the folder, and then there we go. We can delete this folder now. And before we test out, um, we need to do some things. Well, one thing actually, uh, you need to go into leader stats and this is where you change your currency so if you don't want it to be cash and you want it to be coins then we can change it to coins and if you do change the leader stat then we need to change some settings inside of the model so first of all we'll go to robbery GUI and we'll go down until there's a script in the label and as you can see here is the script and if you want the text to say your currency then instead of dollar sign you can put coins I'm going to keep it as dollar sign for now so yeah you can customize this as long as you know what you're doing and won't break the script if you don't know what you're doing you may as well just leave it and then the final script we can customize is inside the robbery part here so reward is how much currency you get for robbing it so if I wanted to get 50 coins for robbing the store then I'll get 50 and this proximity prompt um, where's Rob? There's Rob so action text is what it says so it'll say if I want it to be you know stop robbery it'll say start robbery as a prompt and then object text is the name of your object so I have a store clerk, I could be, you know, cashier. And then hold duration is just how long it takes to rob the store, so five seconds is good enough. And if we go into the trigger script here, we have a free a few properties to change. So first of all we have cooldown. So this is again the cooldown in between robbing the store. I'll keep it 10 seconds just for the sake of the video. And then in here, we don't actually have anything else to change. Pretty sure. Oh wait, no. Collect, uh, this here, this line. After leader stats, we need to change it to whatever our leader stat is. But if you did keep it as cash, you can just keep it as cash. But change it to coins, so have coins. And then reward is your reward value there. So. You can customize the text label as well by making it tran not transparent. So if we change this to zero, as you can see, you can see it now. If I change the color to red, and if we make it transparent again, it will be red when we drop the store. So if we test it now by clicking play, everything should work. So we close out all that. As you can see, our coin stat is there, and our cashier is animated and we can start the robbery so if I hold E and then just wait as you can see we get 50 coins and if we wait 10 seconds then it will come back and it will be robbable again so there we go start robbery again and there we go another 50 and it fades out so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you found it useful, leave a like or subscribe down below. 
and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial video.